Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on Apple Maps. So today we're going to take a look at Apple's map program. And we have some uh, the updated iOS 9 version. Mm -hmm. So we'll be showing you some features that are new. Um, first of all, I want to point out that we uh, today are looking at it on the iPad. And the reason that we're doing that is really for filming purposes, because it's a bigger surface for us to film and for you to look on um, for things. Most people do use end up using the map on their phone, right? Because you're in the car, you're out walking, and you, you have your phone with you. Um, you can certainly you know, bring your iPad if you have a cellular iPad right. or if you have Wi-Fi in your car. Mm -hmm. But um, And the phone will be exactly the same as the iPad, except for sometimes... Um, the iPad can show you things that a phone has to show you in two screens. The iPad can show you it to you in one. Right, right. So we just wanted to explain that. Um, so here we are looking at the map, and it looks like a, a standard map. And the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, this little icon down here. And this is called your location button. So if you touch that, tap that, boom. And then you see this blinking little circle. That's taking you to where you are right now. Mm -hmm. And that's working off your location services GPS. Mm -hmm. The other thing that this location arrow does is if I tap it again, boom, you see it changes north. And when I did that, up this came the compass. compass came up. And what is set standard, I can tap the compass, is your standard map view where north is going to be at the top here. And the other tap again. The other one will be well, where north will move with you. Right. And like some people <clears throat> like that when they're in the car driving they want to see the map moving. The roads changing. Right. right. I right. like it set standard. Right. Standard map and then to change it I'm going to tap up here. Right. But, so, so your first tap on that takes you to your location. The second tap right. puts you into that kind compass. of moving. You can change your compass. Right. Okay. Great. So that's basically that. Oops. I didn't mean to change it again. <laughs> And then we just tap right. there okay. and it goes away. Now down here you see this little I that usually means there's you know things you can change there, info. So the first thing is uh, at the top, you have different ways you can view your map. This is map and this will uh, just have you know the map view. Streets and, and then I'm going to jump over here for a second. This is called satellite. Okay, and that's showing you the satellite. Now I'm going to have to get rid of that to sort of get in a more interesting area and zoom in. Uh, if you look, the satellite for view also does show you the roads. Now, if you uh, in iOS 8 and before, there was map, hybrid, and trans and satellite. Right. Uh, hybrid was in the middle, and um, that now they've just taken satellite and put the roads over it. Right. It's, it's, the hybrid has become the standard because why would you want to look at a satellite without knowing what the roads are? <laughs> right. It doesn't make sense. In the Maps app, anyway. Yeah. I mean, right. why would you want to do that? Because you're yeah. finding directions. So this exactly. has become the hybrid mode. It's just standard. Right. Okay. Then this is a nice feature in transit. Uh, this is only in certain areas, and it's not where we are. So I'm going to go ahead and go to New York City. Okay. And, and you just typed in up here, this is the search bar that you see in so many other programs that allows you to just type in a name or an address to search for it. I was just wondering why it's not showing the transit. No, it is. These are the lines. Oh, I'm, See, you're thinking oh. those are streets, but those are subway right. um, lines from NYC. Right. Yeah. So that's transit in certain cities, and I'm sure they're going to grow grow it more and more, right? Yeah, and if you zoom in, you can really see the lines. Right. You can see the names, you can see the times, you can see the streets that they're at. Right, and it'll show delays or anything like that. Yeah, it's a great, yeah. great feature for people who use transit a lot. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to just the map view. Another nice feature is show traffic. I bet there'll be some traffic yeah. in New York City. <laughs> Let's just stay in New York. It's good for examples, right? Yeah. So you can see, whoa, there's some traffic there. And the dots get um, darker, don't they, uh, as it gets like really red when yep. it's really high traffic. And here you can see this little circle with a little guy through it. That means something's closed there. Maybe it's an exit. And yeah, that's a good oh. thing to do is to zoom in closer and you can see exactly what is closed here. And if you tap on it, it'll show you exactly what's closed. Right. The, the Queen's, Queen's Midtown Tunnel. Oh, darn it. Dang, we can't <laughs> But that's a nice yeah, uh, I like thing the traffic feature a lot. Yeah. 
So you could hide the traffic if it's you know annoying your view, but then there is the 3D map. If I tap on that, okay, that's gonna tilt it, and you're thinking, if I just have it in, you know, it, it really is nice for a city. Oh, look, even in the map view. Right. It, and they've mapped out right. 3D buildings in yeah. most of the major cities. Right, even yeah. our city. So, yeah. um, so that's a great feature. If you, if, but you know, if, if you're out in the country or more of the suburbs, it's, it's just really going to tilt not the gonna, map, yeah, right? It just seems but like turn it's on the useful. satellite now too, so they can see the actual buildings, oh, which right. is kind of cool. There you go. So you can actually see. I guess you we're gotta get close. Rid of that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Isn't oh, that look, cool? Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. So you can tilt it, pan and tilt around mm. the city, which is really fun. It's called Apple Maps Flyovers, and they have them for a lot of cities where they actually have a tour that just flies right, you around. Right. It's pretty cool. All right. So that's a reason why you might like playing on your iPad with Apple Maps, too. Right. Bigger and better buildings. <laughs> yes, right. So I'm going to go to the 2D map. This would be a... a those 3D maps of different cities would be a good thing to do before you go on a sightseeing trip yes. to, a, to a new city. Yes, Look exactly. Look at it in 3D so you can map it out. Right. So I just took it off, and you can see it's back on the 2D map, and I put it back in map mode. And now we're going to talk about dropping a pin, which a pin is a way to bookmark a spot on a map. Right, right. You may have um, locations that you're saving in your contacts with your, your the people, but you may not want all these things in your contacts. So... What you can do, wow, look at all the places here in New York City. Um, <laughs> we, what you can do is just come out onto your map anywhere you want, and you can tap and hold, and it'll drop a pin. And that's very nice. It'll show you what the address is of mm -hmm. the dropped pin, and you can do all the things you can with the location, like get directions. Um, and where this might be useful is, let's say you're in a city and you're parking your car somewhere on a street. Yeah. And you're going to be walking all over the city all day sightseeing or even working or doing whatever. And you just mm -hmm. want to make sure you remember where your car is. You could drop a pin. Right. That's a great idea. Yep. And then you could use the directions, which we're going to show you in a few minutes, to get back to it because you can have walking directions too. Mm -hmm. um, you also can then go in and you can um, favorite that pin. So you can tap the heart. And when you tapped on that, it really shows you the address of where you Does. put the pin. You could add it to contacts, um, create a new one, or add it to existing. Here's where you could delete your pin. Remove your pin, right. And it'll show you a little picture. It'll show you how far away it is from where you are now. Yep. Um, and you can favorite it, and we'll show you where to find those later. Or you can share it with people. So you can message it to somebody, you mm -hmm. can email it, you can put it in reminders. Uh, and the reminders and notes under sharing is new with iOS nine yes a great and you see feature. that in the share button so like right. from every app right you know, pretty much right most like, apps let's say you're driving around and you see a house that you like and you drop the pin and you say remind me later to check out this house for sale right it's perfect Boom. Yep. you've got it so there's a lot of things that you can do and that's dropping pins right okay so, should we talk a little bit about directions Let's look now? at directions next. Um, another button that you'll see on the screen here is directions on the upper left. And if you just come in and tap on that, it's going to bring up a screen and the keyboard. Yeah. If you're um, on the iPad, let's drop the keyboard down for a second. And it's going to show you a start and an end. Now, the end is where I just dropped my pin because it thought maybe that's where I wanted to go. Okay. Oh, that would be long. Trip. That would be a long trip from <laughs> here. So I'm actually going to tap in the start field, and it's going to bring up the keyboard. Right. I don't need to type anything, though. I'm going to get rid of my keyboard, and I'm going to say, I want to go from my current location. Yeah, and that's what you're probably tap on that. most normally going to use. Oh, look, it put me at the end. So here's something else. This little ziggly arrow on the left here, if you tap on that, it's going to reverse oh, that's the nice. field. So now I'm starting from my current location, and where will I end? Um, it's showing me some... Presets. Presets, right. right. Home, home work, work, and your favorites you can bring up. I'm going to scroll down here. And it's home also, and work, work off your contact. So whatever you have, right. whatever you have entered for your contact for card. For you, your contact, my as info. your home right. and work address. That will so. show up. And then here it's showing me recent. So it's showing me the drop pin we just did. It's showing me some other places that I've recently used maps for. So I can scroll down and find an address that I want to use. And um, I could tap on it. Another thing that I could do is I can tap in the field here and I can type in something. Type in an address, yep. So let's type in um, Smith. 
Okay, and it's going to bring up people from my contacts that have Smith in it. So I've got, uh, and, and some local things. It's bringing up um, some local steakhouses and restaurants, some places. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and just tap on this one because I want to go to Mary Smith's house. And now it's going to come up and it's going to show us um, oh, three routes. different routes that it's found. Mm -hmm. um, it's highlighted the one that it thinks is the best. It typically goes on time. So it's, it's saying it's 24 minutes to this one. Mm -hmm. These two are lighter blue, but if I decided, no, I want to go 55 because I'm going to stop at the corn stand, I can tap on there, <laughs> and it'll take me that way. Right. So you just basically tap on the line that you want. The directions will all change depending yeah, on which one you want. Yeah, step over here if, you, if you're that type of person. Yeah, if you want to look. Like to do both. Yeah, and you want to say, oh, I don't know. I don't want to go that way. I'm going to go this way. So you tap on the one you want, and then you go ahead and you say start down at the bottom. But first, there's also, you, you see up here, you can do driving directions, which you're mostly going to do. Unless, right. you, what, I live in, you know, New York City. I'm usually walking directions. Right. It's going to show, and it's going to be hilarious because it's going to take us so long. Yeah. Five hours and 12 minutes. <laughs> but if you lived in a big city, walking directions. Right. Or if you were traveling and you're sightseeing. Right. Walking is a great thing to do. Yeah. Yep. Or transit. If we had Which transit. Which it's going to say that we, it's not available where we are, but if we were in a city that right. had great transit, it that would, would show be. you subway, bus, whatever your options are right. for transit. So that's awesome. And when you, and also you can share this. So I could share this set um, of information out somewhere. I could print it, which print is it. sometimes people like to print. And then there's some other apps that are coming routing that will app. work with it that are routing sure. apps. But basically now what you would do is hit start. Yep, hit start, and here it comes. And it's going to come up. It's going to zoom up to where we are right now, show me the arrows. It's going to show me turn by turn here. And then if I want to, I can tap on overview and always go back out to the right. big view. And when you're in this step-by-step -step view, um, we have our iPad turned off right now, the ringer off for it filming. Would, it would talk. But if you yeah. um, had it on, she would start talking, you know, head out, the first direction she would give you. And... She gives you step-by-step -step directions as you're driving. Right, exactly. And at any time, if you want, you'll see down here the three-bar icon at the bottom. I can tap on that, and it'll bring up the step-by-step -step directions right. as well. Some people like to look at it that way. I'll say, when am I going to turn next? Yeah. And the person in the car with me can say, oh, well, we're going to be turning here and there. You know, They can look right. at it that way instead of going out to the overview. Sure. And it also, um, if I, sorry, if I go back here, it also gives you your next move always at the top. Like right. when I'm looking at my phone in the car, your next, where am I going to turn next? Right. I and always want to know that. Yes. Instead of waiting for her to tell me. Yes, in 1.7 miles. Okay, can we yeah. relax? we got almost two miles to drive, then we'll be turning left. Right. Okay. And so, you can also do this. You can swipe oh, through. You see the dots are the I'm turns. I'm not sure you can do that on the phone. I think you probably can. Okay. Oh, anyways. Anyways. Um, all right. And then end, we'll end that navigation. So those are your, the, you know, the use of uh, routes and maps and directions. One great feature that came about, I'm going to clear this out, came about with um, iOS 9 is the nearby low yeah, feature. Yeah, fabulous feature. And this feature. is great. You saw, I, all I did was Went into I the have the maps bar. program open and I just tapped in the search bar and it's going to bring up your nearbys. I'm going to hide the keyboard. There we go. And uh, you can see here, they've got these different categories, food, drinks, shopping, travel, service, fun, health, and transport. Now, if I tap on one like food, now it's going to bring up all the subcategories of food, like fast food or bakeries. I think we need bakeries. I think bakeries sound good. Now, if I tap on that, it's going to drop all these pins marking the location of all these bakeries around me. And show you over here on the left, too. Oh, look at those delicious mm, pictures. Pictures. Yep, and it will tell you how many miles, and it will give you Yelp reviews. So that's nice. So you can see how the food is or whatever you're looking at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's just tap on one and see what it what it brings up. Okay, so it brings up the pin. It shows you where the pin is. Right. Yep. And then you could seamlessly go into, uh, you know, get. If I tap on it again, I could seamlessly go into directions. How do I get there? Yep. So. Yep. So it'll automatically right. just put that information into the directions area. Yeah. So that nearby is really nice. It's a great feature. I love it. It's wonderful. Yeah. Like health. Oh, I wonder if it's going to probably show you like yeah. hospitals. And hospitals, stuff. drug yeah. stores, fitness. It's great. I love it's it. Great. Yeah. Really nice too when you're, it's great for where you live, but it's also great for when you're out of town right. and you don't know what's going on. 
So that's our tech bit on Apple Maps. Thanks for watching this Sync Sisters tech bit. And please subscribe to our channel.